Hi, welcome to this tutorial. This video is for Notion SLE, designed for Marisol Philharmonic. And what I'll be showing you in this uh, video is how to set up a score, uh, insert instruments uh, into your score that are pre-programmed from the Miroslav Philharmonic Library, and also begin writing and uh, do additional uh, score layout and formatting uh, onto your document. So to begin with, just click New Score from the initial launch screen, and that will bring us into the uh, in-document score setup. And over here to your right, you'll see a bunch of uh, uh, palettes or, or tabs that you can hover your mouse over. And those are named special staffs, woodwinds, brass, percussion, etc., etc. And what they represent are the instrument groups uh, that uh, offer you available instruments. We have included presets for all instruments in the Miroslav Philharmonic collection. So what I'll do now is I'll set up a score consisting of a flute, an oboe, in a string section. To uh, set up an individual instrument uh, is uh, rather straightforward. You simply click on the instrument group that you want to uh, uh, put instrument from, then just click on the instrument, in this case the flute. At that point you will see the flute uh, entered in your score and in there what that really does is it creates uh, an instance of Miroslav Philharmonic fills it with all the appropriate patches uh, that you will need for your articulations playback and uh, uh, puts it into your document. So the same for the oboe, just hover and click and there we go. The flute and the oboe are now in the score. So if I exit score setup and uh, start writing There we go. Now I can bring up the instrument interface by either Control I or Apple I, and then look at what kind of articulations I have. I have uh, a loop, a staccato, a portamento, and a flutter ton. So that means that if I place a staccato here and uh, mark this as flutter ton, and probably do some dynamics, maybe have. Uh, pianissimo going to fortissimo and play as you can see the score will follow uh, the playback will follow the articulations and the appropriate patches from mirrors lock to harmonic will be triggered so I can also cut this and paste it onto a completely different instrument never do any reprogramming or any changing of the key switches and still get the same uh, the same responsiveness for both dynamics uh, and articulations. So this will be the case for any of the individual instruments that are found under the woodwinds, brass, percussion, keys, uh, vocal, and strings groups. Uh, but what about sections? Remember, I wanted to set up um, a flute, oboe, and a string section. Well, the sections are, are instrument presets that load an instance which is more than uh, one instrument uh, per instance. So, for example, strings one holds the violins one and violins two, where strings two holds the violas, cellos, and basses. So I just added those into my score, and if I look at the VST instance, I can see that the violins are on channel violins one are on channel one, violins two are on channel nine. If I look at strings two, then violas are on channel one, but cellos are on channel seven and uh, basses start on channels 12. So what I really need to do is add some basic staffs here and then assign different channels to uh, those particular instruments so that they can use uh, those instruments there. This is also pretty straightforward to do. You go into score setup and you put as many basic staffs as you need. And in this case I need five. And then I can select them all here by the way and just drag them. Um, and I'll probably drag them right above the strings where I want them. So when I exit score setup, I now have five basic staffs that don't do anything. And I need to assign this staff to be part of strings one. So I click on strings one and uh, talk to channel one of strings one. So I click on strings one and I uh, do shift I to bring up the change instrument dialog box. Choose channel one, hit OK, and place it in there. 
Now I repeat the same thing. Remember, violins two are on channel nine. So I repeat the same thing, but choose channel nine and place that on the second step. Now I need to switch this to the viola. So the violas were here in strings two. Shift I, and they were on channel one. So we'll place that for the violas. We'll rename those and we'll make them look better um, shortly here. So right now we're just assigning the channel assignments. Uh, channel 7 was for the cello. Put that here. And then finally channel 12 was for the basses. So we can place that here. And now we can double click and simply rename those, uh, those channel assignments. Violence 2. This is uh, violas. Uh, this is cellos. And finally, double basses. Now, of course, I probably want to change some clefs here, so I'll do that uh, real quickly. Uh, the clef shortcut is the C key, and I just keep toggling it. And if I want a special clef, like an octave below clef, I just go to the palette uh, and choose it from there. So now, if I start writing music here, you'll hear that this is coming from the basses, whereas this is coming from the strings, from the violins. So now I have a string section, uh, a flute, and an oboe all ready to play. And again, if I use articulations on the violins, uh, and I want to copy those into the flutes, I just need to copy paste that and the articulations will be preserved. Now further I may want to tweak some things, for example, I may want to hide uh, those staffs. We're not going to write uh, ever on the sections uh, staffs, on the staffs that are coming from sections, because we do want to assign channels to basic staffs in order to use those sections. So after I've assigned everything, I might as well hide them. And this is done by clicking the check mark uh, over here. And then have uh, that appear in my score. Then I can uh, select uh, those and group them by uh, right click, staff groups, make bar line group, and also right click, staff groups, uh, make bracket group. So now I have the section group. And if I don't want to see uh, these names, but see those names appear there. I'll go to score, full score options, and change first system titles to be part abbreviation. So here we are, our score is set up. One last thing, if I want to hide those things, um, I can uh, select them all, then right click on any of them, choose attachments, hide. My score is now ready, uh, and I'm using both a section preset and an individual. Uh, instance uh, preset. Everything triggers and plays back with Miroslav uh, Philharmonic patches and automatically switches the articulations for you. Well, that was uh, the tutorial for setting up a score. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.